we are going to look at a, a, a technique where you read, you absorb the passage, the message in the passage in small chunks, in units of words. They are not sentences or phrases in isolated form, but they are connected pieces of information or chunks of information. We are going to look at that technique. Is there a method to make reading comprehension easy, even if it has difficult words? Is there a way to make reading comprehension less time consuming? I mean, can we actually read it faster or uh, can we make it uh, or can we read it in a very small period of time, in a limited time, because you have very limited time to answer questions in competitive exams. Can we make this less time consuming, even if the passage is long? Now, can we actually make it less boring? Reading this whole exercise of reading a passage which you are not familiar with, less boring. Can we make it more scoring? The whole exercise of reading comprehension. Now, reading comprehension actually means to be able to read and understand. The ability to read and understand is called reading comprehension. Comprehension means ability to understand. To comprehend is to be able to understand. Now, we are going to look at a, a, a technique where you read, you absorb the passage, the message in the passage in small chunks. In units of words, they are not sentences or phrases in isolated form, but they are connected pieces of information or chunks of information. We are going to look at that technique. Now, let us look at the technique that will make our reading comprehension stronger. We are, it will improve our ability to read and understand. We are calling this technique pause, absorb and connect. And you may call it anything, but this is easy to understand and remember. So I use the words pause, absorb and connect. I have taken this small excerpt from the newspaper article on the tragedies happening in Kerala. It's from the Hindu and it's a very brief passage from a long article. Let's start reading. We have to pause after a set of words or a chunk of information, a piece of information which fall in a set of words. Here, Kerala has seen three words in one small unit of information. Kerala has seen, what did Kerala see? Many boat accidents. So this is one piece of information, pause here and another piece of information. Both are connected. You pause here, you absorb and you connect this information to the previous piece of information or previous chunk. Let's see the next chunk. It starts after the full stop. In 2002, a pause there. In 2002, so what is the information related to 2002? In Kumarpum. So that's a place. Again, there is a place which is connected to this time, 2002. And what is, and the, the next part is another in piece of information connected to these two. And what is that? A lush town. So what is this? Kumarko is described as a lush town. So this information is connecting to this. Now the next one, known for backwater tourism. This, the town is known for backwater tourism. Now, these pieces are connected by, uh, connected by an idea, a common idea, but pieces of information together forming a main or a complete idea. Let us go ahead, read the remaining passage, remaining part of the passage and try and see if you are also able to make sense about stopping after these chunks of words. Known for, okay, Kumar Koma, lush town known for backwater tourism. 29 people, including a nine-month-old baby, 
pause, were killed, pause, in a ferry accident. So when you pause after each and every set of words that convey one piece of information, then the whole sentence becomes easier to understand. So here, isn't this a very long sentence? In 2002, in Kumarkum, a lush town known for its backwater tourism, 29 people, including a nine-month-old baby, were killed in a ferry accident. See how much information is there in one sentence. If you break it into pieces of information, reading long sentences will become easy. That is about reading comprehension. Here, you can. Uh, we are going to come up with some more passages in our later classes and. These passages might also have some difficult words, but listen while you while I'm reading them and see where I'm pausing. In our next session, I will be reading aloud some passages and I will be pausing at certain place, places and you will understand the exact concept of pausing while reading. Let's understand the last sentence in the given passage and see how these chunks are connected. In 2007, pause, 18 people, pause, who were on a school excursion, pause, lost their lives. So, if this is not a very long sentence, not as long as the previous one, but if you actually break these units, break these, break the sentence into units, then it becomes easier to understand. Ah, uh, pause, the pause are marked here and we will try to we will try to apply this technique for our passages in the, in the following lessons. Do watch our uh, other lessons which will follow in, in the series and, uh, uh, and please write your comments about how we can make improvements or how this has been useful or has not been useful for you. And, if, and those of you who find reading comprehension difficult, please share all your challenges in the comments below. We will try to help you overcome those difficulties.